This is a drawing of what the Craig Flower pump station is going to look like. It's a nice enough looking building, but would seeing a picture of this make you feel better after learning that a sludge processing plant is going to ruin your neighborhood? Listen to the CRD clip from Dean Fortin, who thinks the uninformed people who live in Viewfield, as he calls them, should see this pump station photo before drawing conclusions on the impacts from the sludge plant. So my interest is, one, is there a way to get a, a PDF of this? Uh, obviously, there's a way that as we individual directors can respond to some of the concerns that's being raised around aesthetics, noise control, odor control, security aesthetics, all that sort of stuff. Hold on a second. Let's go over that list of concerns. He mentioned aesthetics, noise control, odor control, security, aesthetics again, and all that sort of stuff. Hmm, what about that other stuff? Like air quality, risk of explosion, plunging property values? Let's listen to some more. Secondly, is there an opportunity again to uh, deliberately go out and distribute it uh, in the areas that uh, we've seen uh, concerns? Um, perhaps even a direct mail out. Um, we've heard a lot of concerns, I think, uninformed or those that have come to conclusions without having the information first. And so I think it'd be a great value just to say, to send out to the people within uh, the view field area um, an idea of what some of the things we have done. Um, People are asking for this. I've received many requests for things about, can you give me examples? Um, and I think it's incumbent upon us to uh, distribute uh, that information. Thank you. I'll ask staff to uh, make sure directors get the PDF and also to make sure that it's available when we go out to the consultation process for Heartland. I Why would they propose showing the people around Viewfield and now Heartland a photo of a pump station when they were actually planning to build a sludge processing plant. This is totally deceptive. If a developer pitched a photo of a pretty cottage when he was actually planning to build a concrete hotel, he would be held accountable, wouldn't he? Why doesn't the CRD reveal what they were actually planning to build? Why can't they just be straight with the public? Guess I'm asking you more though. I don't want to available it. I, I want like, we've got like 20 or 30 emails from people that live around that area. There's like five or six houses across the road. Could we not actually go out and say, hi, we care about you. Um, this is some of the information that, that deals with how we've done in the past. Like, it's time to get out there. Everybody else is going out door by door. Why don't we go out and do a little bit of work? I mean, it's incumbent upon us. We're behind the game and, and it's relative, even if it's just a mail out for a postal drop. Uh, it's, it is, it's a, no, excuse a, me. Ma'am, ma'am, you're out of order. Please sit down. We have a, a process. Please sit down. You're out of order. Well, then so, leave, please. Please, no, he is not out of order. You are. Mr. Hall, you were. Who or what's really out of order? The woman who walked out of the meeting, disgusted by Mayor Fortin's comments, or this committee's idea to provide misleading information? It's so unfortunate that when, when the committee was so kind to hear that lady and then she attacked Mayor Fortin. <laughs>